what's going on everybody. So apparently the new Neato D8 does have a new firmware version. I uh, must have updated about a week ago and we are going to check it out today. So I contacted them just to confirm that I have the newest firmware. I asked them basically what it is. It's 1.3.10 1069 is released about a week ago and this is what I have on my phone which I'll show you now. Alright guys we're in the Neato app. Let's go to make sure we have the same firmware. As you can see 1.3.10.69 so it is the newest firmware. As you can see I currently do not have a map at all and let's hope this guy works better because it was a disaster last test. I've been waiting quite a while for this update and I'm really hoping that it fixed this robot because it does have potential to be a pretty good robot. It just really needs to fix these software issues that it currently has, or hopefully not currently had in the past. So I'm gonna switch over and we will test out this robot. Hey, what's up everybody? As you guys just saw, Nita has finally updated the D8. It was about a week ago or so, and I'm just now getting time to do this test. I have not ran this guy whatsoever since the last test I did where it failed miserably, so I really want to see if this update makes it a potentially a good robot, because I do think it has potential if they get the software working right. So we're going to go and clean three rooms in this house. Uh, I'm going to do this room here, which you might recognize used to be my old computer room. Now it's just a, a big room for, I don't even know what yet, but anyways, we have the hard floor section that you guys most mostly probably remember. I put down some Fruit Loops and then just some popcorn kernels just to see how well it picks stuff up. So we got all this hardwood floor and then we're back to another carpet. Now this carpet is pretty thick, so I wanna see how well it does on this thick carpet as well. And hopefully it does a good job. We'll probably see right away if it's acting up still or if it's gonna work good. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see kind of a smaller test here where I can get a little bit more footage or if you want to see my entire floor plan where I essentially have it run, have it clean, and then I come back after it cleans and we'll talk about it. Or do you want a more cleaning like I used to do where I speed it up and you can kind of see its pattern and all that fun stuff. Let me know down in the comments what you guys prefer and I'll try to make that happen for you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and send this out. I am going to put it on its maximum suction. It is a small area, so it should have no trouble cleaning this whole area before the battery's low. And also, we should get a map after it cleans. So hopefully Nito did what's needed, and we get this room nice and clean. All right, let's go ahead and send it out. Definitely taking its time to, to get going here. That's a tough today, Junior. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what that saying's from. Wow, looks looks like a pretty good update. Doing a great job cleaning. Like, what the heck? Come on. Do we have a paperweight here? Can I give it a boost, maybe? Wow. Oh. Okay. Alright. I 
had me pretty concerned there for a second, I won't lie. I remember this is a very thick carpet, so this guy might be really slow on it. Some robots go kind of quicker than others. See if it still backs up onto the wall. We'll see that in this test too, because a lot of times it'll back up on the wall and get stuck. Alright guys, did we just see the same thing? I think this update worked and I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it cleaned as well. So let's take a look real quick, then we'll look at the map and then we'll look at the dirt bin and then discuss what we think about this new update. So in here, I threw down a little bit of cereal and popcorn kernels and I don't see any at all in here which is great once again the hardwood floor there is not a single fruit loop or kernel which is really impressive because most of you know robot vacuums that have a little bit of trouble with debris on hardwood floors because they tend to flick around objects with that side brush now this Nido has a very small side brush so that doesn't flick around nowhere near as bad as some of the ones with the big normal size brush or the ones with the dual side brushes. And then looking in here, I also threw down some popcorn kernels and cereal and there is none to be seen anywhere. So this guy actually got up everything that I threw down. I'm actually kind of surprised at that. Especially with the disaster of a test we saw last time we did a video on this guy. I did run it on maximum power. It ended at 25% battery life left. So if you have a larger area than just these three small rooms, it'll definitely have to go back and recharge. But being on maximum power, it's kind of on par with the iRobot Roomba S9 Plus. I wish that robot and this one included a larger battery that could last, you know, maybe double if that's even possible, especially for the price tag they put on these guys. So let's go ahead and actually we'll check out the dirt bin real quick, and then we will check out the map that it made. So this dirt bin had a few little chunks in it before this cleaning cycle, but not much dust or anything at all. So let's see how good that high suction power is if I pulled a lot of carpet fibers out of here or how well it did. So yeah, I mean, it got up. I was expecting more of a, kind of like a ball of carpet fibers and stuff, but for what it did, it, it did a pretty good job. I mean, as you can see, it picked up all the cereal and all the popcorn kernels with no trouble whatsoever. One thing I do like about the Neatos 
is they have the brush roll that goes across the entire front of the vacuum, just like the Roomba S9 Plus. If Roborock or a company like that could figure out or make an entire roll bar that go across the entire machine, that would be awesome. I think I really do think that does a much better job cleaning overall. And I must say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised this update really did fix this thing being a POS. The map that it made, so there's the map. It is just the three small rooms, and it looks very accurate to what it just cleaned. And as you can see, it was on maximum suction. So what do you guys think overall? Did that change your opinion at all on it? It did mine a little bit, because if you remember, when I did the testing room downstairs, and I will be putting this down there as well, this guy's Neato D4's little brother has the second best pickup amount out of all the robots that I've done. So if this guy's functioning correctly, I'm really curious to see how well this is gonna do in the pickup test. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did it all, please do me a massive favor. Smash that like button, it helps me out more than you know. It helps rise the video and the algorithm to where people searching for Neato D8s. My video will be more towards the top with your guys' support. So I'd really help that, and if you like this type of video, consider subscribing and leave a comment below. I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know anything else you want to see with this guy or any of my other 30 plus robot vacuums. And you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you.